we um, really do need to talk about what's going to happen with the Republic of Ireland at this point. Uh, I think people's tune has changed quite significantly since the um, game got moved from where technically it would have been a Mick McCarthy's contract to now it's going to be outside of Mick McCarthy's contract and we would be extending Mick McCarthy's contract to have this game, uh, the, the playoff game where he would be the manager or we just give the new guy the job and say, well, look, there's been a global pandemic, the situation has changed and we all have to move on. I definitely think so, yeah. Like 31st of July is when Mick McCarthy's contract is up. We now know, and it is confirmed now, that... Ireland will be playing Slovakia after the 31st of July. It could be a few months after that. It could be September. We don't know. The September thing is very, very loose. That That is by no means a, a hard date set. This is kind of the first time I think that UEFA have actually not picked a date into the future. They've actually just said uh, games are suspended indefinitely almost. So you kind of look at this and before today you could make a case that you would be screwing Mick McCarthy over a small bit were you to say that Stephen Kenny were to come in for the Slovakia playoff because Mick McCarthy still had a contract up until the 31st of July now Mick McCarthy's contract is definitely going to expire before the Slovakia game so if you are going by the letter of the pieces of paper that have been signed by all the individuals involved here and Stephen Kenny needs to be Ireland manager for the Slovakia playoff the question is, though, because Mick McCarthy has started a campaign, has started a qualifying campaign, gone through the majority of it, do you let him now finish off that qualifying campaign? And that is where the conflict now lies here. You can see sort of both sides of the argument, but I think it's pretty heavy in favour of Stephen Kenny now at this point, isn't it? I think that the case to be made for Mick McCarthy leading Ireland forward is definitely weakened by the fact that he is out of contract, that the FAI now need to renegotiate with Mick McCarthy and also need to re renegotiate with Stephen Kenny, let's not forget. Like, I think that's one of the things that's been forgotten here, that when I use the term, they're screwing Mick McCarthy over, like one person's going to be screwed over here or somebody's going to feel hard done by regardless. Uh, like if we allow Mick McCarthy to proceed into the Slovakia game beyond the 31st of July, then it is Stephen Kenny who will feel rightfully wronged. And Stephen Kenny is the man that we that Ireland will have long into the future. I think that's the key. The key point here is your next manager is ready and waiting to go. Now, he is obviously already doing a job and that job itself is incomplete. It was always going to be incomplete. There was always going to be a new manager taking over the under-21 gig in the middle of a, a campaign, which has so far been quite successful. So it's not like he wouldn't have a job to do. And quite an important job if they decided that McCarthy gets to finish this campaign. I, I can see if you're in the McCarthy camp, you're like, we're, you know, we want the campaign to finish. Mick's been a very important figure in Irish football for four decades. He's entitled to the opportunity to see this out. I can see how you would be making that case. I think it will come down to finances. And obviously the deal that Mick McCarthy did to be the manager of Ireland was done at a completely different era in the FAI's history. It was at a time when there was enough money to pay somebody. It was at a time when it appeared as if there was enough money to pay somebody the salary that he is reportedly on. And I think the FAI actually needs to make public the details of what the, the contract is. So how much money is Mick McCarthy due at the end of his contract? Is there is that bonus point payment that was um, made public a, a couple of weeks ago or was reported on a couple of weeks ago? If that story was accurate, and we have no reason to doubt it, then there's a, a payment that falls due at the end of, uh, of his contract. Perhaps that could be the money that would be used to pay Mick to continue in his job. So it's not like he would be getting any extra money to be doing this job. He will be getting paid anyway a certain amount of money. And if he just uses that to continue in the Ireland job, then the money issue isn't the main thing. But if he's going to get paid a bonus and is also going to get paid extra on top of what they're going to have to pay Stephen Kenny because his contract automatically kicks in in August, then you're paying two managers to do the same job at a situation at a time when the organization was facing job cuts before the pandemic, that the finances of the organization were so bad that they were struggling anyway. Like, you definitely would be going and saying, look, we actually don't have the money to pay here. So um, we're going to go with our new guy who's already agreed to take a, a pay cut as well. And we wish you all the best. Like, we, we don't want anybody to feel like they've been screwed over here. But yeah, there is a global pandemic on. And our here's our finances. The money that we were getting from our coaching is gone. The money that we were getting from our sponsors is gone. The money that we were getting from our TV deals, that's all gone. We already had a bailout from 
the, the government and from uh, UEFA, like we are absolutely yeah. against the pin of our collars here to continue football in Ireland, let alone having a, a, a national team. Um, I, and that, I, that's the case that you'd be making and saying, help us out here. I'll put it to you this way. Say if Ireland don't qualify for Euro 2021, would you rather be in one of these two regretful positions? Is the regretful position that you'd be like, oh God, we should have brought Stephen Kenny in uh, and he might have given us a better chance of qualification? Or would you rather be in a situation where it's like, oh God, we should have held on to Mick McCarthy. He would have qualified us for Euro 2021 potentially. I think you'd rather be in a situation where you're regretting not having Mick McCarthy because we've had a swathe of evidence to suggest that Mick McCarthy isn't going to take us to incredible heights. And also, if you're going to back somebody, if you're going to back one losing horse, at least back the losing horse that you're on for the next few years, right? Like, I think that's, that's it's fairly simple. But like, I just think you don't want to piss off the guy who's coming in. Like, Mick McCarthy's a man who deserves so much respect. Of course he does. But Stephen Kenny is the incumbent. You know, he is the guy who is going to be in charge of his team for the foreseeable future. He is the man who has worked a lot of the under-21s who are going to be backboning one of our best teams, hopefully, in, say, I don't know, five, ten years over the next couple of years. Yeah. There's, a lot of st- there's a lot at stake here if you piss Stephen Kenny off. Yeah, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a great time to be doing that. And, um, you know, the, the deal is in place to put him in charge of the senior national team. They should stick to that deal. That's the, the obvious thing to do. Mixed contract runs out. Thanks very much. It's been great. But as you as you can see, Wimbledon was cancelled this year for the first time when there wasn't an actual war outside. So it is kind of wartime here and we're all we're all trying to deal with it as best we can. The only thing I would say is that they should make the decision quick as opposed to waiting three or four weeks to like see what else is going to happen here. Like get this Definitely. dealt with. Let everybody move on one way or another. And if it is, if the decision is to stick with Mick and he's going to do it for the money that's on his contract and no extra money, then at least he knows and at least everybody else knows out there what the story is. But the longer it continues, the longer the, there's that uncertainty, I think it's actually uh, it's unfair on everybody. So, um, you know, take your time for a couple of days, but like don't let this roll on into weeks three and four and all of a sudden everybody's going, well, like what, what is actually happening here? Um, and there's no you know, reason to, to let go it back roll to the on. point earlier on. Exactly. You're not going to kill anybody for taking time to make the right decision, but like the right decision isn't one that gets made in July. It's one that gets mm. made in, in April at some point. And um, right. Anything else you want to say on that? No, just like on, on that point as well, is that we, th- this was the kind of final piece of the jigsaw we needed to make an informed decision. Like there was always a chance that Ireland might have to play a game before Mick McCarthy's contract expired. And that left us in a complicated position. It is still a mess. It is still very complicated, but it is a bit simpler now. We can make a decision on this. If, if, if we are the FAI, we can make a decision on this today. We know the situation that a new contract needs to be negotiated for Mick McCarthy if we want him to manage us for the Slovakia game. The question is, do we offer him that contract? All right. Just coming up to nine o'clock this uh, Thursday morning uh, here on OTB AM. If you haven't subscribed to the OTB AM podcast, go and do it now. There's a, a massive and growing band of people who are listening to the show uh, every morning. We, we timestamp everything. So if you're just a rugby fan or a GA fan or a football fan, or if you don't want any coronavirus talk, then you can flick through it really easily. It's a touch of a button. You get it wherever you get your podcasts, or of course, on the Go Loud app. Uh, not done yet, though, this Thursday morning. Coming up next, our player ratings take down season two of Better Call Saul. We're back after these. OTB AM.